His mother said, you're not ready yet, and the servants have made breakfast. Please come in and eat, because your father and I are late for work. His father would have said something to him, but he was far too busy, and Henry had been enough of a bother already. His mother said, here are your things. Get ready, because Jeeves will take you to school. <laughs> His father said, hurry up and get there, because... The faster you get done with school, the sooner you'll be out of my house, making your own way in the world and out of my pocketbook. Henry said, I am now ready. His father said, good, I'll think of you. <laughs> what do you think we'll do in school first? His nanny said, well, I don't know. But based on your small size and limited intellect, I would say it would be simple. But I know you personally and know you to be a child of limited abilities, and therefore I do not expect it. But I think they shall probably practice your ABCs, because it is the first step in changing you from an illiterate little elf into a fully functioning adult. You will probably sing songs so that you will know the joys of music and the betterment of the finer things of life. And you will learn to count so that the meager pennies that you earn in your life, you will know how to count them. And after that, you will probably become in trouble, which will lead to a life of juvenile delinquency and correctional facilities for wayward youth. But should you manage to avoid that, you may grow up to have a decent life with a medium to high income if you apply yourself. <laughs> At this point, the nanny shooed him into the schoolroom to the schoolmaster, who was as uncaring and as cold as the block the building was made of. His school teacher was a bitter woman, not fond of children. Odd for a school teacher, but not really. It seems to be the way life is made up. <laughs> she was jaded from many broken relationships with <laughs> men that she truly didn't love, but was seeking someone to take care of her for a more financially stable existence. She did the best she could with the children, but what with her alcohol addiction and drug use, it was very, very <laughs> hard to teach them a decent lesson. But such is the state of our inner city schools. Henry decided that he was scared of the classroom, as most antisocial children are. He had to be poked and prodded and convinced to go into the schoolroom, to which once he found the other delinquents in the class, he was quite happy and able to talk about things that only ruffians would understand. At the end of the day, he was returned to his emotionally distant parents, who said, how was your day? And as he started to answer, they immediately went back to business phone calls. The end. <laughs>